Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be a weekend reading for the sign of Virgo, okay? If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up. And if you would like a personal reading, how to get one is in the description box. And if you would like to donate to my channel, how you can do that is down in the description box as well. For those of you who have donated, I wanna thank you. I'm very grateful, I appreciate that highly. Okay, so let's jump into it for my Virgo. It's Virgo reading for the weekend. Spirit guys, what's the messages for my Virgos? What is the weekend messages for my Virgos? The wise ones, my Virgos. What's the weekend reading for my Virgos, please? What's going on with my Virgos? Virgo wings. What's up with the Virgos? The Virgin. Virgos, please. What's up with my Virgos? Please, Spirit, what's the messages for my Virgos? What's the messages for my Virgos, Spirit? Ooh, these cards just pop out. Hold on one second. I drop these damn cards. Okay, so we're going to go with it. We got the Fool, the Chariots, and the Nine of Cups. So things are taking off for you here, Virgos, okay? You're going and you're moving on. You're taking a leap of faith towards something, something that makes you happy. You're happy here. You could, some of you could also have been purchase, purchasing a new car, and you're excited about that. You're ready to go whip your car all over town. You feel like the shit here. Your shit look good. That bitch got rims on it and tinted windows. Okay, you're feeling like the shit. You're ready to go out and drink and celebrate and kick it in your car. Period. Okay. <laughs> yep, to the cups. You're very happy here. All right, about this new endeavor. You have three of pentacles here. Okay, it could be a new job also that you're very happy about. All right. Could definitely be something like that, but some of you are going out, going from the nine to the ten of cups because you're so you're very fulfilled. I'm hearing eating a lot, okay? Some of you could also have a personal chef come to your house. Look, the the uh the sun car, you're very happy here, okay? Could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancerian or Aquarius here, okay? You're very much happy and satisfied here, okay? Very much so. All right, Virgos, you're eating good food. Like I said, some of you could be having a personal chef come over. I don't know where I heard that from, but you're eating good food. You're drinking good. You're just, you're just spoiled, and you're having a good-ass time. Whatever this is you're doing, you're happy. Okay, you're happy with your work here, whatever you do for work. If you're chefs, you love that shit. Okay, some of you could be traveling for work as well. All right. What's the okay? We have the death, the hangman, and the high priestess here. Okay, so we could be dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio, but I feel like you're happy, and then you know, there's some kind of secret at work, you're hiding something at work here, or something about a job, or something about money here, you're keeping a secret here. Or the only time you feel like, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity. You're hiding this new opportunity you have here. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Maybe you hiding the fact that you walked away from a job or that you're going towards something new here. Maybe some some of you are, uh, are deciding to be with a mistress here. It's something I heard. Okay, yeah, Six of Swords. Some of you are moving. Okay, and then the Page of Cups, yeah. Maybe moving on from something here. We have the devil and the emperor. Yeah. Somebody here is very controlling here. It's like somebody doesn't want to see you happy or it's like you have to hide your happiness here when you're around a certain person here. Okay. Or something. Yeah. Four pentacles you have to hold back. Yeah. The three of cups being happy about something here. Let me get a couple more cards. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Yeah, nine of pentacles. 
So Virgos, you're very much, your opportunities are great here. Your money is coming in, a windfall of money. You're doing well. You could also be relocating, buying a new apartment here. You love your new place here. Okay. Yeah, the page of pentacles. All right. And then we have the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck. So you're happy here. And then we have the queen of wands. So, and then the three of wands. So this definitely could have been a third party situation here that somebody is is uh, no longer participating in. Somebody is happy here to be moving on here. Okay. Happy to be getting out of a situation here. Okay. Somebody feels um like it was the best move for them to make. All right. I feel like somebody is very controlling here with the um, devil and the emperor coming out together. Somebody tries to control somebody's money or, or their happiness or the way they move or whatever. Somebody is trying to control how somebody's thinking or something. Somebody feels like somebody's stuck in their thoughts about somebody else and they're happier thinking about somebody else like they want to move on and move forward toward this new energy, this water sign or whatever. And that's really, it's really bothering you here, Virgo, because this is your energy. Okay. But I do see you happy. You having new opportunities here. You could be moving or relocating. Somebody could also be mad because they can't control the situation here. Okay, they be, may be wanting you to stay stuck with them or stuck in a situation, but you're no longer doing that. The Three of Pentacles did originally want to come out, but reverse, but I flipped it back. So maybe you no longer want to work on a situation anymore. It could be a home, a family situation here that you're giving up on. You feel like this is the best thing for you. Okay, you feel like this person is secretive. They have a tendency to keep somebody, a third party situation going on here, to keep somebody on the side, to lie. Okay, you feel like in your heart somebody is happier somewhere else and that it's time for you to move on and be at peace because you don't have a peace of mind here when you're with this person. Okay, you feel like it, it, it just, you're stuck in your head. You feel like this person is is thinking about someone else and it bothers you a lot here you feel like someone is very selfish as well very stubborn and somebody may drink a lot as well is what i'm hearing You feel like somebody is happier when they're away from you, but when they when they come around you, they're down, they're controlling, they're out, they're down and out, they're controlling. You know what I'm saying? But when they're away from you, they feel more free, more lighthearted, more at peace. Or this could be you, Virgo. But somebody here is ready to move on toward the new. Okay, somebody could be also flirting with somebody while they're traveling for work or while they're away. They're flirting with different people, doing them. If somebody has a traveling job for work, they're definitely out happy doing whatever they want to do when they're out. Okay. Somebody here is a narcissist. They like to control situations here. Okay. They even like to try to control someone's thoughts. Is what I'm getting here. So this weekend, Virgo, you may just be realizing that you're happier elsewhere here. And that you want to do something new here. That your opportunities are um, limitless here. Okay. Like I said, some of you are purchasing a new apartment. You're very happy with it. You love the results. Okay. You love where you live. It could be near water. It's a nice little garden. It could be a beautiful um, ranch style home is what I'm hearing. All right. And you love it there. Okay. Yeah, the two of cups. You love it. Some of you could be moving on. Yeah, seven of wands. Somebody could be rushing in with some kind of fast communication or wanting to argue with you and control a situation that you're blocking them out. You're simply just going to do you. Somebody wants to be petty, but you're no longer investing in that shit, and they're mad with the five of cups. 
because you're no longer investing in that situation at, at all. You're too, wor you're too worried about your money, yeah, Knight of Cups. They want to apologize, maybe for having a mistress or, or sneaking around or whatever. And I feel like you don't want to hear that shit. You, you don't want to invest. You don't want to do anything with this person anymore. You want to move on. You feel like this person is manipulative with the uh, with the emperor and the devil. What's the messages for my Virgos, please? Messages for my Virgos. What is the messages for my Virgos? One significant card for my Virgos, please. Okay, we have the face. Yeah, you know this is faded. Okay, imagine. Yeah, you manifested a new beginning here for yourself, and now it's happening. You know this is the best thing to do here is to let go of the situation. Okay, to move on, to get yourself unstuck out of a happy and unhappy situation. You feel much more free and happy when you're not in in a when you're not with this person. You feel like this person holds you back from your from your happiness. They love you, but they they have third parties with the three of pentacles and high and and mistresses mistresses and shit like that. So you're over it. So those are the messages I have for you, Virgo. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next one.